Welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. In hospitals, there are three types of air pressure in rooms. Positive pressure, used to keep contaminants out. Negative pressure, used to keep contaminants in. And neutral pressure, where the pressure of the space doesn't matter. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, a strong focus has been placed on negative pressure spaces, but why are they important? Negative pressure spaces are essential to infection control. Think of negative pressure like a straw in a glass of water. To draw the water out, you suck on the straw. Air within a negative pressure room works the same way. We use supply fans to blow air into a room and exhaust fans to suck the air out of a room. Whichever fan is doing more work determines if the room is positive or negative pressure. Negative pressure means the exhaust fan is pulling more air out of the room than the supply is pushing into the room. When we have patients with infectious diseases that might spread through the air, we want to keep contaminants in the air contained inside the room, so we use negative pressure. It's important to understand that for negative pressure to work, the doors to the room need to be closed. When the door is open, the pressure in the room could change from negative to positive and push contaminants into the corridor, which is a safety risk. If you are concerned about a room's pressure, you can quickly check to see if a room is positive or negative pressure by holding a single ply tissue or piece of toilet paper at the bottom of the closed door. If the paper is sucking in, the room is negative. If the paper is blowing out, the room is positive. There can't be too many negative pressure rooms at any one time in a hospital because we must have a balance of air coming into the building. Back to our glass of water. If that glass is airtight, then the harder you suck, the more the negative pressure builds within the glass until you take your lips off the straw. The same applies to negative pressure in a building. We have to balance the airflow to make sure we have the right amount of air coming into the building and leaving the building. So to keep everyone safe and contain disease, make sure you know which rooms in your area are negative pressure to protect staff, patients, and other building occupants. If you have questions about it, talk to your facilities team. They'll be happy to help. <laughs>